Hello again, welcome to The Ref Show. We show how it should be done, well, sometimes, with uh, Mark Halsey and David Hurst. And we also talk about how it, how it shouldn't, shouldn't be done on occasions. And you can split the two FA Cup semi-finals either way. Let's start with maybe how it should be done and the performance hailed as a masterclass by uh, Keith Hackett over the weekend and by you on uh, your RefCam blog. This was the FA Cup semi-final uh, between Chelsea and Tottenham. Martin Atkinson in charge. Great game. Great referee, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was an excellent game. Um, you know, it was end to end, and obviously, the referee was part of that. Um, excellent appointment. Very experienced referee, Martin. Um, his recognition of careless and reckless was 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 excellent. Um, he let the game breathe. He gave it a chance. And the, the thing the thing about it is, um, you know, he set his tolerance levels as well with, with with the challenges, and he was consistent throughout the game. But the, the pleasing thing for me was when the temperature went up, the intensity went up in the second half. You know, he, he showed young referees, and we showed all referees how to slow the game down. You know, give a few more free kicks, slow the free kicks down, because there was a, there was a time there where you thought, oh, hang on, is, is Martin going to lose control here? Because the challenges were going in, weren't they? And then you know, the experience of Martin. Slowed it, slowed it down to to heat to his pace by giving a few more free kicks, and standing over the free kicks to just slow it right down, and then, and then, and then it settled back down again. But I thought it was right. a great spectacle, and you know That's we look at the, we look at the big decision in the game, the penalty. I know me and Hurstie yeah. were talking it before yeah. we come on air. But I thought it was a, it was a, I thought it was a, the correct decision. I mean, Martin it was great teamwork. Martin, you know, it was a hesitation from Martin. Mm. He's he's looked at his assistant. He's asked his assistant. His assistant's obliged. Come in, give him a great flag. And yeah, I mean, people say to me, oh, was it, was it simulation? Was it dive? Well, well, no, it's not because I, th I think there was slight contact and also he was taking evasive action. If he doesn't take eva yeah. evasive action, he gets wiped out and, and a serious yeah, yeah. injury. Main I know thing, you sort of disagreed a little bit perhaps I'm there. I'm looking at it the other way. You know, I think if he, if he can go down like that, I think he can ride the tattle. <laughs> it's a great game. <laughs> like anyway, you used to. Like of used course, to, yeah. yeah. Try and stay on your feet. I mean, that's what the game's about. Uh, I understand why he went down and how he went down. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day... we. It probably is a penalty in in everybody's eyes, but you know I just think we can we can simulate diving, but we f can't stay on his feet. Oh. You know I think he could have stayed on his feet and got. That's good. To, like that. Can we move on to the other semi final? Because that's that was a great game, and we all want to talk nice. about the football. Fantastic I mean, there was game. drama in the other one, Arsenal Manchester City as well. This was Craig Pawson's game, mm -hmm. Arsenal two Man City one. Now I think we know about the things that that were got wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the game, how and why? I mean, I mean, if we look at. The, the, the difference of Martin and Craig. You know, I thought Craig let the game run away from me. He's, he's not. He's not a big game referee. And I, and I, listen, I, I don't want to sit here and criticise Craig Pawson. I want to look at the FA. Mm. You know, the appointment of Craig Pawson. As I just said, he's not a big game referee. Okay, are the FA devaluing this competition by not putting their best referee on on these games? Who now, would you have now had? Craig, Craig, Craig's not. a... Who would you Craig's have had, had an in indifferent charge? season this season, and yeah. he's work he's work in progress. And and for me, you've got you, you've got to look at the experience, guys. I mean, great appointment in Martin Atkinson, okay, yeah. for the, the Chelsea Tottenham. Yeah, you've got to look at Mike Dean, excellent referee. Andre Mariner, a big game right. referee. Mark, Mark, Mark Clattenburg. Now listen, I know, I know. Listen, you've got to put your differences aside, okay? And we know that there's differences between Mark Clattenburg and the management. But you've got to forget those and put your best referee in charge of these big games. Well, the unfortunate you owe it to the thing clubs. is, Mark, you owe it to the, the unfortunate thing is, you can't have the best referees refereeing all the top games because then how do the others get the uh, their well, games? Well, no, you know, I'm, I'm talking about how do this, they get better? Yeah, but I'm talking about this this semi final. It's a massive, well, yeah, massive but game. This, but this is also a learning curve, and, and I understand what, what Craig did. I mean, it weren't a, a shocker of a game that he had. I think there were certain things he could pick up from Martin. I, I you, like you mentioned, the slowing of the game down. Yeah. And that's where the learning but, curve should come. I mean, it was, it was a game of two hours. Because, get, because the first, second half... But he half, can't get experience unless he does those games. Yeah, but not... You've yeah, got to yeah, have the games but not, to get not, the experience. Yeah, in, 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 in the Premier League season, but not, not these one-off games. I... Uh, well, so I, I, he, could, he could do all the top games in the Premier League season and then not ever yeah, but, do a semi-final or a what, final. What I'm saying how is, do you know how he's going to play in that final? But he has, he has been given those sort of games during the season and he hasn't produced. So then it's down to the coaching. Absolutely. So, uh, you've so got, you, you've got to look at we've been talking about the coaching because it's non-existent in my opinion. Mm. But knowing, about knowing the number of coaching. referees as, as we do, I mean, surely they come away from games and actually say, well, you know, looking at the Martin situation and then Craig's looking and saying, well, you know, I could have done this in my game. That is how the game unfolds. That is how the, the referee gains his experience by making absolutely. mistakes. Absolutely. Albeit, like I say, it wasn't a shocker of a game that he had. 
It, it was certain well, situations well, thought, that he could have dealt with. Let, let me just detail the second them. half. I thought you know he, there should, he, he should was have a, there should have been a penalty. Oxlade Chamberlain on, on Aguero. City were, were were wrong there. They had a goal controversially disallowed when the ball hadn't gone out. Yeah. That was yeah. Stephen Childs called the linesman, and later on Arsenal denied a penalty for Navas brought down Sanchez. So but, three key ones that, went wrong. It's there. massive. I mean, and yeah. it, let's, let's look at the, let's look at the two penalty decisions now. Yeah, yeah. As, as from a learning point from there for young referees, you always say when uh, you was a centre forward, okay. When you're in on goal, or you're going to have a shot on goal, right? Why would you go down? Why would you go down? You wouldn't, would you? Someone like Aguero doesn't go see, down. I, see, I, I beg to differ on that. I think they will go down because it goes to the penalty spot. It's, a, it's well, technically if it's, an easier if it's, opportunity. If it's contact, I mean, we saw in the Liverpool game yesterday I've where Coutinho of... was oh. he's, he'd done brilliantly well to stay on his feet. Yet you could argue and say, well, the referee should have gone. Should have. He should have gone down. Yeah, you know, yeah, one minute yeah. we're saying, oh, you've got to stay on your feet, so to stay on the feet, and then he gets fouled and stays on his feet, and perhaps you know, perhaps he should have had a penalty. It, it's, 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 it's called arguments. using the rules for you. But, yeah. but you know I mean? always, I, when I refereed, I always looked at when when there was a centre forward going down on goal with a with a defender bearing down on him, and he goes down. Okay, for me, nine and a half ty- times out of ten, it's it's a foul or it's a penalty mm-hmm. because and he's had, got no reason because he's go got down. no yeah, reason yeah. to yeah. go mm-hmm. down. Now mm-hmm. exactly the same. I mean, he's had. He's had a clear view on that, okay, and you see him shake his head straight away. So, obviously, he's not he's not concentrating well. He's not fully focused. And then we go down to the other end. He's got a clear view. And now I've heard you know people criticise the assistant. We don't know if he shut the assistant out by saying that's not a penalty for me. Yeah. But yeah. he's got a clear view. It's the same again. Sanchez has gone into the box. Why is he going to go down? It's a clear holding okay. offence. I just don't understand. It's, it's only Craig that it, tell us. But is and, that, and Erste, well, is that I'm just going on that? We'll have to he's move absolute, on from that because there's hey, loads to get in. He's absolutely spot on about yeah. the coaching. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, and, that, that, and, and it's lacking from yeah. the top level. OK, later in the show, and this will be part two, we'll get the guys uh, talking about the latest old firm clash uh, in Scotland where there was uh, one uh, juicy challenge there. Clash uh, we, the word. Yeah. <laughs> there's also a big incident in a Premier League game at which fortunately didn't affect the result uh, and will round up uh, the championship action as well and El Clasico but for now you mentioned Andre Mariner Liverpool 1 Crystal Palace 2 one of the guys that you said could have uh, taken the semi-final and let's have a look uh, finally in part one at possibly the two main contenders for the FA Cup final itself Michael Oliver and Anthony Taylor Michael Oliver first of all Swansea 2 Stoke 0 game at the weekend yeah I mean it was a it was a uh Good game for for Michael to have his experience, the way he referees the game, done very well. I think he, he's he's one of the front runners um, for for the FA Cup final, and uh, same with uh, with Anthony Taylor. I think um, I think it's between those two. But you know, you never know from the FA referees committee; they could spring in a surprise like we got a couple of couple yeah. of years ago with John Moss. Well, Taylor's game was Manchester United's two 0 win at Burnley, which was fair, fairly routine. So, which of the two would you select then? Um, I, I, it's difficult because I mean I don't think there's a lot between the two. They're both fighting to um, get onto that elite panel of UEFA. Um, so I think whoever gets the whoever gets the final um, will be favourite to make that leap onto the elite um, elite panel. I think perhaps Michael Oliver may just I, have the can nod. Can I just ask you a question? Who do you think is the best referee this season? The best referee this season overall um, throughout. Because I'm, I'm the reason why I'm asking. Yeah. He should get the final. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's I, how I it should be you. picked. I, I, Not you've had the final before. You've no, done, no, no, no. Forget all that. If I, we're I, talking I, about getting the best referees to do the best jobs at the biggest games, I, pick the best referee. I think if you, if you it's, it's a great point you make, Ersty. If you're looking over the season, you've got to look at the likes of, you know, Michael Oliver, um, uh, Robert Madley, and Anthony Taylor. Um, now. Listen, we all they've made they've made mistakes over the season, but not as many mistakes yeah. as the others. And and the better referees do make mistakes, but not as many. And yet so, Madley, so, Madley had a big game recently and it didn't go well for him. Well, surely yeah, listen, surely they that, should have yeah. a structure where they, they mark them out of ten or whatever and well, they get at the end of the season the top of that league well, Gets the final. Ersti, or gets the big game. Ersti, it, 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 it should work that it way, should. but it doesn't. Part one of Ref Show gets a nine out of ten, I think. Uh, great to get these guys firing. <laughs> Do, don't miss part two. We'll see you then. <laughs> you see, with soccer, everyone's the expert. 
but always remember there's only one ref. And they don't get to become the real expert without advice from people who've seen it, done it, and got the t-shirt. From Little League to the Premier League. From the Cowfield to Anfield. Soccer referees need to be at their best. And that's what You Are The Ref is about. Take a look at our website for exclusive content from our team of highly experienced former match officials. Don't be an armchair expert. Join up today at youarethereft.com. <laughs>